of my personal heroes is Robert Greenwald, the filmmaker, political activist, and founder of Brave New Films. Uh, his Twitter, by the way, at Robert Greenwald. And he's got this new, this new piece up. I want to play just a, a short clip from it uh, with uh, Bernie Sanders. Uh, <laughs> surprise. Uh, laying this thing. Well, I'll, it speaks for itself. Here's the clip. What the Koch brothers want to do is destroy Social Security. The Koch brothers fund organizations, and they are very, very good in getting on television. Raising the retirement age. I would um, increase the uh, retirement age. So you would probably have to increase the retirement age. We're probably going to have to raise the retirement age. Raise the and people will not know they represent an organization which is heavily funded by corporate interests. There we go. And Robert Greenwald is with us. Robert, welcome to the program. Welcome back to the program. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. It's great to be with you. It's great to have you with us. How did this come about? Well, it came about in meeting with the team that's working on our Koch Brothers Expose campaign. Mm -hmm. And in talking with Jeff and Leila and Joseph and some of the other amazing activists at the BNF who make this happen, we, we, over a period of time of doing research, realized that what the Cokes were doing in terms of the way they fund Tom, now we obviously don't like the content, but the way they fund is very, very smart. And what they do is they put millions of dollars into ideas, then they put millions of dollars into pundits to talk about ideas that they have funded, and now they put more millions of dollars to activist groups to take the ideas and take the pundits and get them to the grassroots. And then they put more millions into politicians who will pick up the ideas, pick up the pundits, and pick up the messaging from the grassroots. It's very smart and very strategic. <clears throat> but if you talk about it, it's kind of abstract. So we made a commitment that we were going to spend, and I think it took maybe two to three months, to find the visual and audio evidence to hear the people who they are funding using the exact same words from think tank to pundit to politician. And I think that's what the power of the piece is, ultimately. It really viscerally explains to you how an echo chamber works. Yeah, it, it, it does, and, it's, and it does it absolutely brilliantly. In fact, it was up at, uh, it still is, it's up at the top at democraticunderground.com right now, it's, uh, if you, you want to check it. And, of course, <laughs> kochbrothersexposed.com. Uh, the the latest project from Robert Greenwald, who is our guest. Here, here's the thing that uh, baffles is not quite the right word, but you know the Koch brothers are are billionaires. Their father made a lot of money doing business with Joe Stalin back in the day, and and they inherited money and they turned it into a much larger fortune, um, buying out other businesses. But mostly, aren't they in the oil industry? I mean, it seems to me that. The major beneficiaries of Social Security being privatized are the, is the financial services industry, is the banking industry that you know is looking at that 2.6 trillion dollar Social Security trust fund and drooling at the thought that they could skim you know five, ten, fifteen percent off the top the way that the health insurance companies do with our health care dollars. Um, why do the Koch brothers care about this? Well, I think they care about it for two reasons. Number one, because they're a privately held company. We have no idea the size and scope of their holdings in the financial industry. We can assume, given the, the billions and billions, that there are lots of companies of lots of entities in that world that they have purchased, but we can't get that data, number mm. one. <clears throat> and then number two, they are driven by an ideology, and it's an ideology that serves their business interests over and over and over again. And it does it by weakening government, by sort of not wanting to provide any kind of safety net, and ultimately creating the kind of society and culture and world that I know you and I and your listeners and viewers don't want to live in. And that's why it's important that we talk about them, that we put the ex light of exposing on them, and why it's so important what you and everyone uh, is doing on this. Yeah, and, 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 and what you're doing. Um, it's not just the Koch brothers. Right. So wh wh how, uh, to, to what extent would all of this giant right-wing echo chamber exist if it weren't for the Koch brothers? I mean, how many, uh, we, we, you know, we, uh, people are familiar with Richard Mellon Scaife, Joe, the deceased Joe Coors. Um, uh, how many people, how many, how many billionaires are there who are the tail that's wagging the dog of public opinion? 
Well, it's a good question. I'm not sure we'll ever know completely. And of course, there's Rupert Murdoch. But what is unique about the Koch brothers is the strategic giving, as we were talking about, mm. the way they give across the board. And the way there's a quote that um, was in the Jane Mayer article in The New Yorker about them that has stayed with me and haunts me at night, which is the Koch brothers said, they discovered that politicians are actors who read from a script. Their goal is to write the script, and that's what they're doing. And they're doing it very effectively. Wow. And we need to show that, expose that. But as you say, Tom, because you know, you've always been great at doing this, we need to connect the dots. These are the dots about a system that rewards uh, those who make money, that uh, focuses on economic disparity, and it's a system that we all need to change using the Koch brothers as very bad examples of what happens when you allow capitalism to run free with no rules or regulations or protections. To what extent do you think that the, the uh, or, or can you find, I, you know, I'm not going to ask you to mind read these guys, but uh, I, their behavior is out there to see and, and many of their words are out there to see. To what extent is... And in fact, let's let's even take it beyond just the Koch brothers. Although you're doing you know great work with KochBrothersExposed.com, uh, Robert Greenwald. To what extent is the ideology of the right driven by the old you know Fred Koch's uh, the John Birch Society uh, fear of communism or or fear of uh, you know big government or Ayn Rand's philosophies versus a simple business deal that if I make a billion dollars a year. And I'm having to pay $300 million in taxes, and I take $30 million and I give it to a bunch of politicians, and they cut my taxes by uh, 10%. I'm now I'm now making I'm now paying you know $200 million in taxes rather than $300 million. I so I, so it cost me $30 million. I get back $70 million as the investment. The the best investment that you can make right now in America is buying politicians or buying public opinion, just as a pure business decision. Where, where, you know, where are the dividing lines here? How, how is this breaking out in the, in the, in the right wing world? Well, that's a great example you just gave. A nice, simple economic example that works over and over again. It's a cheap, cheap what they call it in business ROI, return on investment. Buy a politician and see what you get back. And we've got several more videos coming up on, on that about how they bought the House Committee on Energy. Where the dividing line is, I'm not sure we'll ever know. You know, what I think it is, it's an ideology that has terrible consequences. And again, if people join us on the Facebook or the Twitter or the website, they'll, they can work with us on these new campaigns. But it's an ideology that serves those who have made billions. And it's an ideology that they've crafted and messaged so that those who are being screwed by the billionaires also sign up for this ideology. Right. And that's where we have our work cut out, to point out the contradictions and to see how we can reach those who are being exploited and yet still sign up and believe that somehow this is a way to better their situation. Yeah, so that there's no longer a what's the matter with Kansas question, that Kansas figures out what's the matter with Kansas, to, <laughs> yeah. to paraphrase Thomas Frank. What's the core website, Robert Greenwald, from which people can step off into these various worlds that you've created uh, where you're exposing all these things from, from Rupert Murdoch to, to the Koch brothers? Well, we've got the Koch Brothers Exposed, which is both Facebook website and the Twitter under my name. And then we've got Brave New Foundation, where we're continuing to do work. And then, of course, Rethink Afghanistan, that you've been so incredibly helpful with. Yeah, and Rethink Afghanistan, we haven't even talked about that. Yeah. And we're out of time, unfortunately. But uh, it looks like uh, President Obama is going to go the Vietnam route, unfortunately. But anyway. Robert Greenwald, KochBrothersExposed.com, and all the other sites we talked about. Thank you, Robert, for being My with pleasure. us. My pleasure.